Today, I will take you on the definitive guide to every single musical theater Easter egg in the opening number that Ariana DeBose sang for the 2022 Tony Awards. Now, in case you're wondering what's so challenging about figuring out all the references in a five minute song, what if I told you that in the song, there are over 50 musical theater references from over 30 different shows. 53 total musical references in five minutes. 53 references from 33 shows? 35. Okay, fine. 53 references from 35 different shows. That's over 10 references a minute or a new reference every six seconds. But wait. Frankly, it's 53 in four minutes because we cut off the first minute, which is an original. The first minute of the song is actually an original song. So technically the mashup is just four minutes long, which means we're now down to a new reference every 4.5 seconds. Some of the references are longer, while others are just obscure one second riffs with no context. I mean, not even Shazam could figure out where these tiny riffs came from. It's like trying to find a needle in a musical haystack, which sounds impossible. So why am I obsessed over this? Well, in the song itself, Ariana actually declares that a mashup is about to happen and challenges the viewers to a game of Spot the Song. And Ariana, as someone who has himself made a big Broadway mashup of 25 different shows, I feel like you're personally calling me out and trying to top me. It became personal with me. So, challenge accepted. But to really comb through every corner of this song, I needed some help. I need. Help! Enter musical theater historian Margaret Hall. Hi, I'm Margaret Hall. I'm a musical theater historian, writer, and teacher. I'm the night and weekend editor at Playbill, and I'm also the author of Jim and Yanni, Life and Lessons from Broadway and Beyond, a biography of Paul Gimignani, who is Stephen Sondheim's right-hand man. You can find me at It's Margaret Hall on all social medias, and I am constantly talking musical theater. But even more than that, Margaret came out with the first list of all the references in the song for Playbill that was published almost as soon as the song ended. And then it was out within 30 seconds of that first commercial break. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So of course I asked her to collaborate on this video. I've watched this about a hundred times now today, digging everything up. <laughs> you are the musical theater Sherlock Holmes, I'm calling it. <laughs> I will take the Sherlock Holmes comparison. I consider that an honor. And the result was this comprehensive list of every single musical theater reference, which I turned into this visual timeline, which we will actually go through second by second. And it's way more than just pointing out what they posted on those LED screens. And keep watching until the end to see how Margaret ranks this year's opening number against previous year's opening numbers. Okay, first things first, we need an overview of how this entire thing was created and how it's structured. Lucy Moss and Toby Marlowe, the composer lyricist team that just won best score for six, composed the original song, This Is Your Round of Applause. <laughs> that acts as a framework for the entire opening number mashup that happens. The mashup itself is actually the work of arrangers Kurt Crowley, who I mentioned in a previous video, and Kurt Crowley is a real-life music director and pianist who has worked on Hamilton in the Heights, Bring It On, and Freestyle Love Supreme, and helped Andrew Garfield learn how to sing. I was singing with another person, Kurt Crowley, at the piano. And Benjamin Rahala, another well-known Broadway music director. And then Alex Lacamoire, the famous orchestrator of all Lin-Manuel Miranda's work. Lin-Manuel Miranda, bro, thank you for letting me be your right hand man. Came in and orchestrated the song for the Tony Awards Orchestra to perform. And Lucy even partially credits Ariana with the mashup. So she came up with the concept. When she was brought on as the host, they talked to her about what kind of opening number do you want to do? And she's the one who came up with this mashup concept that's very dance heavy. It shows her off at her best, really. And last but not least, shout out to the copyist for the song, Emily Grishman, who incidentally was also honored with a special Tony Award that same evening. And with that, we're ready to tackle this behemoth. To help us wrap our head around this song, Margaret actually breaks it down into five distinct sections. Where we have the first section, which is round of applause, which is the material that was written by Lucy and Toby. Then the initial, what I call sort of the mashup section. And then the sound of music serves as the hinge into the third section, which is the speech section. The kick up which is the fourth section, where it's really just high octane dancing their faces off. And then the closing section. And now we're gonna go through it 
bit by bit. First off, the entire song is actually operating at three different levels. You have Ariana's vocals, the ensemble's vocals, and the orchestral accompaniment. Sometimes they are all playing the same song, but sometimes they are referencing completely different things, as you would expect from a mashup. Since section number one is an original song called This Is Your Round of Applause, which also frames the entire song, here it is not a mashup, so we can move on to section two. Right away, the orchestra begins with the I Had A Dream motif from Gypsy. That's followed by the vamp from Putting It Together from Sunday in the Park with George, which is then combined with Ariana singing Putting It Together as well. Bit by bit, putting it together. And then we get these two chords, which are the same chords from I Hope I Get It from a chorus line. We hear the line, Women in the sequel which comes from the Schuyler Sisters in Hamilton, which is playing over all that jazz from Chicago. While above that, Ariana sings Willkommen from Cabaret. Im Cabaret, oh Cabaret, to Cabaret. We then hear the riff from Don't Rain on My Parade from Funny Girl. which transposes into the similar sounding vamp of Buenos Aires from Evita, which continues as Ariana sings a lot of living to do from Bye Bye Birdie, Last of all, if only you know it. and then throws in a line from Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. The accompaniment then switches to ease on down the road from The Wiz, <laughs> over which Ariana sings Friend Like Me, from Aladdin and Magic To Do from Pippin. Section 2 ends with I Can't Do It Alone from Chicago. But I simply cannot do it alone. And then the lonely goat herd from The Sound of Music. Yodale, yodale, yodale. And that was just section 2. Okay, section 3 begins with the vamp from Seasons of Love from Rent. <laughs> While above it, we hear the ensemble singing the Look Around motif from the Schuyler Sisters from Hamilton, which then goes into our first speech, Lin-Manuel Miranda's famous Love is Love is Love, and Love is Love is Love is Love, which then brings in the orchestral accompaniment doing the Schuyler Sisters from Hamilton, while Ariana brings back the main song Round of Applause. Meanwhile, the chorus sings What I Did For Love from a chorus line, which then turns into Ariana singing I Got Rhythm from Crazy For You, while the orchestra is playing Dancing Queen from Mamma Mia, which then adds the Defying Gravity keyboard riff from Wicked. while Ariana sings You Can't Stop the Beat from Hairspray. Cause the world keeps spinning round and round and my heart's keeping time to the speed of sound. The orchestra eventually agrees with her and plays You Can't Stop the Beat as well until it plays a riff from the Jet song from West Side Story transitioning us into tradition from Fiddler on the Roof while Ariana and the ensemble again sing round of applause. This is your round of applause. And now we get to the bulk of the speeches, which are by, in order, Leia Salonga, Daisy Egan, Kristen Chenoweth, Adrian Warren, Judith Light, Michael Bennett, Barbara Streisand, Audra McDonald, Lisa Crone and Janine Tesori, Ariel Stachel, Andre DeShields, and James Monroe Eigelhart. The orchestra plays the Defying Gravity motif from Wicked, <laughs> followed by the Jellicle motif from Cats, and then becomes It's All Happening from Bring It On, which incidentally was the show that gave Ariana her Broadway debut. And it's sung by the ensemble at the same time as Wait For Me from Hadestown,
which Ariana eventually joins in singing There's a Place for Us from West Side Story. There's a place for us. The musical that won her an Oscar. We hear a nod to the Bean theme as used in Stay With Me from Into the Woods. The ensemble then sings Gimme Gimme from Thoroughly Modern Millie, <laughs> which fittingly plays as that show's composer, Janine Tesori, is shown speaking. Ariana then sings It All Fades Away from the Bridges of Madison County. It all fades away, I'm standing on. And then she sings Thank You for the Music from Mamma Mia. Thank you have to see it. The then we hear the ensemble singing One Day More from Les Mis. <laughs> Followed by the 24601 motif, also from Les Mis. And when the one lands, it becomes the beginning of One Night Only from Dreamgirls. That kicks off the kick up, section four. The orchestra then does a riff from Music and the Mirror from a chorus line, which ends on this drum fill from Rich Man's Frog from Sweet Charity leading into a mashup of Let the Sun Shine In from Hair while the orchestra is playing the Phantom of the Opera. The ensemble then sings the line from Ladies Who Lunch from Company, followed by the orchestra playing America from West Side Story. Again, a song that is associated with Ariana. And this then leads us back to the framing song, Round of Applause, this is a round of applause. which continues, but this time with a trumpet playing Tomorrow from Annie. All right, and with that, just one more section left to go. As we finally enter the closing section, Ariana sings Climb Every Mountain from Sound of Music. Climb every mountain. Keep it gay from the producers. Keep it gay, keep it gay, keep it gay. People from Funny Girl. People, honey, people of the luckiest people. I am what I am from La Cage aux Folles. I am what I am. Until the orchestra plays the ending of Rent. <laughs> and the ensemble says. Which is a play on La Vie Bohème from Rent. Viva la vie Bohème! And then we get a riff from the Tonight Quintet from West Side Story. And finally, the entire song ends with a callback to Round of Applause. There you go, that's every Easter egg and reference in the 2022 Tony Award opening number. Can you believe so much brilliance went into this award show spectacle to never be performed again? But even so, how does it rank against past Tony Award openers? I would put this in like the top 25. Not even top 10 or top 5? Potentially top 10, but in order to make the top 10, I have to have settled in with it. I can comfortably say it's in my top 25. Talk to me in three months, it will probably have moved up. In case you're wondering what her pick for the best Tony Awards opening number is. Bigger is, in my opinion, the best opener of all time. And now we're bigger. So it's the Neil Patrick Harris one. It's the moment that always stands out to me. It's right after he has the, the Tom Hooper close-up. And then it zooms out of that close-up into like, I think around 250 people on Radio City's stage from all the different shows on Broadway. And because Lin-Manuel Miranda co-wrote Bigger, I guess that means he's also the champ of Tony Awards opening numbers. Thanks for watching. I'd also like to thank my patrons on Patreon, including my newest patrons, Greg Bogey, Anton Grenja, Jonathan Chi, Sam Chan, and Denise S. Baez. Subscribe for more music and musical-related content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.